What's up guys? So I'm going to show you today how to uh, how I make my uh, flatfish rigs, so place rigs or for flounder. Um, this is how I do it, obviously there's different ways, but I'm going to show you my favorite uh, rig now. Right, what you're going to need for this is uh, you need some sort of boom with beads on it. Uh, Solon Tackle down in Portsmouth sells these, he makes them in store. Um, really great, you know, a couple quid, not too bad. Easier than making yourself. And as you can see, it's got a swivel in the middle, it's got beads either side, and then a swivel at the end, like so. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, you're going to need some sort of a uh, flashy blade that can. Uh, I'll show you later where that goes, but that goes along the line. You're going to need some extra beads. You need some uh, rubber tubing. This is for your stoppers on the line. I'll show you in a minute. And then your different hook sizes, depending on you know what hook size you want. I'm going with uh, size 1.0 or size 2. And then your line. I'm going for 20 pound line. Obviously, it might be a bit excessive, but. 20 pound line seems to be, seems to work for me. It's light enough and strong enough at the same time. Yeah, and then obviously your uh, your weight at the end. Obviously this can vary. You don't want to use too heavy a weight. Um, but yeah, sweet. Right, let's show you how to make it. First of all, cut about 20 centimeters of uh, line. Two pieces of that. So another one, grab it now, another 20 centimeters or so, and then all you're going to do with these is attach them to the end of the boom rig, so this is the knot I use all the time, so through through the swivel, around, around the tree, one, two, three, four, five, six times, then back through the hole again, And pull the tag end and the other end until it tightens like so. And then get your scissors and just cut off the tag. So you've got your bit of line coming off. Like so. You then do the same on the other end. Snip off the tag. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your spoon and then you're going to attach this <clears throat> and attach this to the top end of the spoon like so so to that end same again on the line one two three, four, five, six, tag end, pull it tight, like so, cut the tag off, so you now got that attached to your boom, like so, and that it's going to do that in the water and it's going to attract. It's going to send out vibrations as well as sight. And other fish are going to see that and they're going to come for it. Same again with the other end. Sweet. So now we have two spoons. Oh, we've got beads going everywhere. Alright, sort them out. Sweet. So I've got my boom. And I've got my two, my two yellow spoons that come off of that. Sweet. Now what you do is get another bit of line, um, almost the same, about 15, 20 centimeters. Two of them. 
and I'll just attach them to the other end of the spoon. Beads going everywhere. These beads, man. <laughs> Sweet. Cool. So, yeah. That goes through there. Round, 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 round. Back through the hole. And pull tight. Cut the tag end off. Sweet. So now you've got your boom, your two reflectors, your bit of line off the other end. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add a stopper on your line. Best way to do this: cut a bit of rubber tubing off, just a little bit off the end. Cut a few bits because you're going to need a few, like so. And then all you're going to do is grab the bit of line that comes off the other end of your spoon and what you do is you feed the line through the hole like so so it's now through the rubber tubing you then put the line around and then back through the bit of rubber tubing but from the opposite direction like so so you get a loop effect like that and then you just pull it tight and there you have your slip knot, you can move that up and down the line cool, so I just move that to the end for now and then what you're going to want to do is just put a couple beads on so one two Three, four. Okay, so now I've added a few beads on there. And then all you do is grab another one of your little rubber stoppers that you cut off, feed the line through again, same again, round back through the other end, like so. So you get that loop again, pull it tight, and just move your rubber stopper down to the beads itself. So there you have, you've got your spoon, a little bit of rubber beads, I mean rubber stopper, then you've got a couple beads, another rubber stopper, then you've got a little bit of line there. And then to this bit of line here, what you're going to do is, you're going to get your hook size, I normally use a size 2 or, uh, or a 1 because uh, flatfish got got um, small mouths, so I'm targeting place or flounder or dab, and uh, they generally got really small mouths. Same again with the hook, around, around around a few times back through the hole and then pull it tight and there you have one end done cool so from the boom same again from the boom so you got the boom there from the boom a lot of line coming out to your spoon you then have a rubber stopper a couple beads, another rubber stopper, and then out to the hook. Sweet, let's do it to the other end now. So, let's get this out. And there you have there you have my rig. So So you've got your boom with about 20 centimeters of line coming off. You then got your your uh, blades, then a rubber stopper each side, a couple beads, another rubber stopper, another bit of line out to your hooks itself. And then lastly, the last thing you need is your sinker, which you attach like so. Sweet, so now you got your sinker in the middle, your lines coming out, your blades, your rubber stoppers, your beads, rubber stopper, another bit of line, and then your hooks. And that is 
my flatfish boom rig. Right guys, so I'm baiting up uh, the boom rig I showed you how to make earlier. Basically throwing a few ragworm on the hooks, and that's about it. As you can see there, fed one on, just feeding it on now. I'll stick another one on. guys so as you can see the rig works just pulled in really nice place beauty that so yeah enjoy making your rigs and good luck and tie lines